Hi everyone, welcome back. Hope you are doing well. Today we are going to see how we can install our lightning application into Samsung TV. Not just lightning application but all other applications. But specifically today I am going to show using lightning application. So without any delay, let's get started. So first we need to download the Tizen Studio from their official website. So hit this URL and you will be coming to this page. From here you can select your OS like Ubuntu, Mac OS or Windows. And here the mirror location you can set to uh, your preferred location I'm setting it to origin and from here you will see an installer like this and for CLI like this so if you don't see these two I would suggest you to open this URL in your, in your incognito window and then you will should be able to see like these two installers so I will prefer IDE installer so just click on this Tizen studio here and then you can see there is a windows orient button so 64 bit operating system so I'm going to hit download button and it will start the downloading so I have already downloaded so let's move on how do we install this now the installation process is very simple very easy just a normal application that we install on any windows so you hit this website and you should be able to see these steps run the application you should be able to see accept button then select your preferred location where you want to install this Tizen studio and then click on install it will install all the packages once the installation is done now we need to install some packages so some uh, common packages that we will need for our project let's hit the second website second here you can see we have this tv extension so we need to install this package manager via package manager we need to install this tv extension and samsung certificate extension these two we will need to run our application okay if you don't see this package manager i'll show you how you can see so you should be able to see this kind of a page if you have not checked uh, that Tizen Studio Launch Package Manager. So you should be able to see this kind of package. If not, so uh, you should be able to see uh, like a new Tizen project and then come here. So you will come to this page, click on these tools. From these tools, you should be able to see this package manager here. Select Package Manager. <coughs> so once you select it, it will open a package manager. And then you can install those two software, two packages that we need. One is TV extension and second one is certificate. So once you do that, it will take some time to open the package manager actually here you can see uh, taking a bit of a time. It's a very huge application that takes a lot of memory to run. Yeah, let's wait for that. By then uh, let's proceed here. So once you do that, install these two. So now second thing, how do we connect our Tizen Studio to the TV? Steps are very simple. Okay, For that you need to have a Samsung TV. If not, then buy one. Okay, if you are working with Samsung TV application, then you should have a Samsung TV at your home or at your office. So once you do that, open your TV and go to the app section. So once you do that, you should be able to see like this apps. So there will, will be an option to go to apps. Okay, so just click on that apps. Okay, so once you go to this app section, press one, two, three, four, five. So once you do that, it will show a pop up where you need to enable the developer mode so by default it will be off so you need to click on on and then here you need to enter the host pc ip address so how do we get that host pc ip address for that you need to open this windows here and type cmd okay this will open a command prompt like this so and here you just need to type ip config this is for windows it will be different for a Mac OS and Linux so once you type IP config you should be able to see here the IP address so this is the IP address that I am having so 192.168.29.119 enter this IP address to your TV here you can see 192.168.29.119 once you do that press ok so now once this is done it will ask you to reboot so you reboot your TV so turn it off turn it on again and you should be able to get your developer mode turned on okay so you should be able to see like developer mode turned on somewhere in the top this side like this okay so once that is done so let's see uh, the package manager as well by then so you can see uh, there are like 7.0 8.0 right for mobile and Tizen like this lot, lot of things are there here so no need to go just go to for uh, ext extension SDK here you can see I have installed 7.0 TV extension 7.0 and then uh, you should be able to see Samsung certificate this 
okay so install this and tv extension tools as well so these three you need to install if not uh, i cannot zoom it actually so yeah you need to install these three 7.0 and samsung certificate extension as well as tv extension tools once you install this open our tizen studio from here you will see this kind of a window in the tizen studio with the package manager okay now we have opened our that means we have turned on our developer mode into samsung tv how do we connect now our tizen studio to the samsung tv right okay so in the samsung tv you need to go to the samsung settings okay and one more thing before proceeding all of these steps you need to have you need to have both your laptop as well as your tv in the same network then only this is going to work so make sure you are connected to the same router or same wi-fi your laptop as well as your tv so yeah once you have that you need to go to uh, the samsung tv in the samsung tv uh, you should be able to see like a network and in the network there will be some ip address okay so in the tv will have some ip address actually so you need to get that ip address once you have that ip address uh, in your hand you open this tizen studio and go to tools click on this tools there will be a device manager select the device manager option and it will open a device manager and from there we need to enter our uh, you know tv ip address that we saw first step we have already done that uh, we have entered our laptop ip address to the tv now we have to enter the tv ip address to our laptop that means our tizen studio so once you have your device manager open here you can you will be able to see this kind of a screen here uh, this button is there in the middle so click on this button and then you should be able to see here remote devices okay if you don't see this kind of ip address that's fine you won't be able to see i have already added couple of ip address but if not click on this plus icon here and you should be able to see a name ip and port so by default the port will be 26101 keep as it is okay because that's the default port of uh, samsung tv so now you can give any name and the ip address of your tv okay these two things you need to give so name of your tv whatever you want you can give the ip address should be same whatever you can see in your tv okay once you get that click on add button and once once you click on add button it should be able to detect your tv automatically okay and here it should come but by default it will be off just select this off to on if your tv and uh, tizen studio is properly connected you should be able to see it is turned on and here one device has already came okay you can see this is the tv and here i can see the model number and platform and the ip address okay yeah so once this is done that means our tv is connected to a tizen studio properly i can see my tv now i can run any sort of application into my samsung tv okay so we are going to see which application a lightning application so this is the uh, demo application that lightning team has created a tmd one this repo link i will be giving in the description you can check out so this is the application that i will be using for today's video here you can see i have these movies and all this kind of a thing the simple application i have already get it running in my laptop so how do we run it for that you simply need to uh, open the application and do the npm install and lng dev so once that is done you check if it is run running in your laptop or not properly once once you are satisfied okay it is running fine then open a new power cell here and we need to run lng dist so this is going to create a dist folder for this application okay so we are creating a signed application yeah once this process is done you can see it has successfully uh, completed the process now i have this a uh, dist folder here so you need to do you need to copy this dist folder okay in your tizen studio application from the tizen studio you need to create a simple project so i have already shown how to create that so you create a project i give name as a tmdv come here and you should be able to see some javascript resources css index.html right so we'll simply uh, keep it like this all of this for now and in your terminal we have already done uh, lng dist now we have our dist folder right we simply need to copy paste this folder so for this let's go and reveal in the explorer and we'll copy this dist folder right here that we have okay. 
so inside this list we have es6 so i am going to uh, copy these three and once you do that open your tizen studio here again and here you can see this so right we want to open this in your uh you know local machine and so right check where this is okay so we simply go and we'll check in the system explorer where this project is located that we have just created okay here it is so we go inside the tmdv and create one folder a given name as a www and paste it so all our dist folder files are pasted here in the www folder right here okay so here uh, currently it is not coming what you do simply click on right and refresh so you should be able to see this www now right okay so what you do and this config.xml file it is there right so double click on this it will open uh, this config.xml file in your uh, this editor here and here you can see the content is rendered from index.html right so here we already have one index.html file and also we have one here inside www so we are going to delete this index.html file simply right click and delete okay okay so we have deleted now this file is going to throw an error so what we are going to do is we are going to uh, go inside www and slash okay so now we are inside this www and do that so we have selected this www in index.html file and click on open so, but if you do like this what it's going to do it is copied okay, it has copied this file here so better uh, we keep it like that www and and slash okay like this so once you do that just control s to save this file now this file is saved successfully and we have this index.html file inside this so this is we are going to run let's delete this one that it has copied okay so now our project is ready but if you try to run it okay run as this tizen web application it's going to take lot of time for building and at the end it might throw you an error because it has to do lot of validation with uh, you know javascript and all so you can see uh, it is it, it is going to start our application okay it is transferring the packages and it is doing uh, you know lot of things okay it is installing actually our application and it has already started as well so my application is started in the tv i can see uh, it has loaded the application but i think i might be getting some cores errors or something i'm not sure okay so let's see uh, how and what are we getting so we are going to debug this application now how do we debug it like let's say if you have to get the console log okay from your tv how do we get it so debug this and just click on right click and click on debug as this ryzen web application okay it's installing is running the application it has started the application and and you should be able to see this kind of a window here okay and this is having some ip address uh local host ip address as well as this port number right so it has started our project into this port number 40383 so how do we see now the logs right what is happening so open your chrome browser here open this new website and just type chrome okay and you should be able to see uh inspect inspect and then devices okay so go to this url inspect slash devices and click on this configure so once you click on this configure okay you have that ip address okay and as well as the port number so what we are going to do is you already have this local host running here i am going to type 127.0.0.1 and then the port number so what was the port number here 40383 so i'm going to type 40383 and click on done so once you do that it will take some time just interact with the application in your tv okay if it is running so, so okay so what it is saying is remote debugging is not available in the incognito window actually so let me try to run this uh, like you know in the normal window and then let's see if it comes or not so, okay, let's open this come up here okay four one nine six one 
this step is correct here let's interact with our application so that we should be able to see okay after interacting some time i was able to get this inspect click on this inspect button and then you should be able to see this kind of a terminal here okay so in the console log i am getting this kind of an error like uh, texture load error okay the files are i think not found inside that folder okay so yeah so there is some error uh, uh, within our code i think whatever the files are uh, that are used in this application are not in the specific location i guess yeah because of that it is happening but yeah, you, by this way you are able to debug it and you are able to get the console logs as well as the net network api calls if you are having it here uh, you can see all the network api call yeah this is all about how you can run our, your lightning application into the samsung tv and how you can debug your samsung tv application uh, into your console log in the browser and you should be able to see all the logs everything so this is all about this video and we'll see you in the next video.